Ah! When you think of Chinese Kung Fu, names like Bruce Lee, Jackie Chan, Jet Li, or maybe even Kung Fu Panda come to mind, right? But do you know where the birthplace of Chinese Kung Fu really is? Yeah! You guessed it, right? Right here at the Shaolin Temple in Dongfeng, Hunan Province. And it's right behind me. The Shaolin Temple is nestled in the forests of Shaoshi Hill within the Songshan mountain range. It was founded in 495 AD. It is revered as the ancestral monastery of Chan Buddhism and is a World Heritage Site, marking it one of China's most popular tourist attractions. It's often said that all Kung Fu finds its origins here, making it a coveted destination for Kung Fu enthusiasts worldwide. So how has the Shaolin Temple remained the holy land of Kung Fu for thousands of years? And just how formidable are the Shaolin monks here today? Well, luckily, I have a friend who's been training Kung Fu here, and he's willing to give us our whole tour of the temple. So let's go find some answers. Jia? Jason. What's up, man? Oh my god, bro. Long time no see. How, how you, you been? Doing? I'm good, bro. Man, look at you. You got a haircut. Oh, You're looking listen. buff. You know, I just want to try and blend in with my new family. That's all. Let's go meet your family. All right, let's go. This monastery is really beautiful, but to be honest, it's really similar to all the other Chinese temples around China. So what, is there anything like special that makes it stand out like Kung Fu wise? Oh yeah, absolutely. There's a lot, let me show you. Okay. Check out that bad boy over there. Oh man, this thing's like a big jacuzzi. I mean, like it might as well have been because like, you know, the purpose actually isn't documented, but it is believed to be a giant wok used for cooking back in the days. It's huge, man. I feel like I could fit 50 turkeys in it. I know, and this was once the smallest wok in the entire temple. Unfortunately, the larger ones have been destroyed, though. How did they cook with it? Well, it is said that the cooks would hang from a ceiling beam with their feet, and they'd stir the food upside down. What? Yeah. It's like something out of like a Michelle Yeoh movie. I know. Well, where do you think they got it from? <laughs> so in Shaolin, we have a saying that Kung Fu is everywhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so do you remember that statue of the uh, Kanara Bodhisattva we saw earlier? Yeah, he has like a bear chest. He's yeah. holding like a stick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay. that's how he once appeared as in the temple as a fire stoking monk. A fire stoking monk? Right. So when a peasant rebel army surrounded the temple in 1350, he came out of the kitchen and he saved the entire temple. And so that's how the 25 techniques of the Shaolin staff were created. That's pretty incredible. Yeah. So is it true that everyone here in Shaolin knows Kung Fu? Well, I'd say about like 90%, right? Because to them, uh, Kung Fu is just a part of their daily life. And so in Chinese, we actually have a saying that dripping water can hollow out stone. Mm. So let me show you some more evidence carved into the stone All here. Right? All right, yeah. let's go. So you notice anything unusual about these floors here? Yeah, I was just going to say that. There's like these holes or something. Yeah, so these holes or dents are believed to have been created by warrior monks stomping during training. Stomping? Jesus, can you imagine being kicked by one of those monks? You wanna find out? Oh man. Let's go. Oh. What's up, man? What's, what's life like here in the monastery? What's a, a typical day look like? Uh, well, you know, as a student, I train four hours a day, so two in the morning and two in the afternoon, and the rest of the time I have to myself. But, you know, I'm often drawn back to the training grounds. But for the warrior monks, the day is a little bit different. So they start at the crack of dawn with some hardcore training, like running up mountains, mm -hmm. right? And then it's just all sweating day in and day out. But it's not all fists and kicks. So they also hit the books as well, okay. right? So they have special academic classes for the monks, like for Buddhism and other subjects as well, right? And in the other times, they would perform manual labor, help the older monks if they need to. Sounds tedious, man, like school or something. Well, it's more so discipline, I'd say. It is tough, but it's also very rewarding. Mm. So was it worth it, man, coming all the way out here, spending half your savings? Absolutely, man. It was worth every penny, because this place, to me, is like what the NBA is to basketball players. This is the ultimate place to train. And, but honestly, the longer I stay here, the more magic I feel. And you know, for me now, it's not just about Kung Fu anymore. 
mm. right? And because I think just coming here and training not only improved my physical body, but it has also improved me mentally and spiritually as well. Mm. So can you show me something physical maybe? Yeah, hit me. Like a, like a special technique? Just, yeah. hit, just hit you straight just, on? Just hit me, man. All right. Oh, God, how did you do that? Ah, uh, can, you, can you teach me that? Well, you all right, man? Yeah. I think it would be best if my master teaches you that instead, because in my opinion, he's the best warrior monk in the entire temple. Where is he? I'll show you. Let's okay. go. Shifu, how? Shifu, he wants to learn to teach you how to teach you. Let's first take a walk and let's see. All right, let's see your horse dance, man. Uh, like this? Close enough. Is that all? I wanted to learn some attacking techniques. No. Kung Fu isn't about attacking. It's about defending. Many people have a is to 安全脱身受到最小的伤害就算是一招功也是功中有防防中有功武术技以拳法都是少林功夫的表现形式背后有佛教信仰和禅宗文化作为一名武僧我觉得不光要把自己的功夫练好还要好好的参禅有时候我会